having seen the New York Times evolve over the last 37 years, are there learnings from like the beginning, the middle, the end? Like, what are some of the takeaways or, or you've seen it grow? And this is an open question, like culturally or given the media. Yeah. It's a, oh, I could answer this so many ways, but yeah. I would say uh, we just this yesterday passed 10 million subscribers. Mm. So people who say newspapers are dying, um, when I was, when I started there, it was just a print newspaper and we had probably a million subscribers mm -hmm. on Sunday, a million and a half. Mm -hmm. Now we have 10 million around the world. It's so much more exciting that way. Uh, another thing, the paper uh, does investigative journalism much more aggressively mm -hmm. than it did when I got there in 1987. Mm -hmm. And then the staff is so much more diverse mm. uh, and therefore the coverage is so much more diverse. Very much like Stanford University. When I got to Stanford in 1971, I'm guessing it was uh, six, 70 per, two thirds of them were from California, mm -hmm. two thirds of them were guys, mm -hmm. and I would say three quarters were white. Mm. And it it's just much more interesting now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at the GSB, I look out at our classes and I think, my God, I wish your great grandparents up in heaven would look down and say, wait a minute, there's Cherie. Who are all those weird looking people around her? Mm -hmm. They don't look anything like her. Mm -hmm. That's all in the last 30 years. It used to not be that way. People were in their places and they never interacted with anybody else. It's so much more interesting now. It's also sometimes tenser now, mm. but the upside is so much greater than the downside. Definitely. And I would say those tense conversations, those uncomfortable conversations is where everyone in the classroom, in the boardroom and at work where we grow together. So. Uh, Agreed. And, yeah. and there's a uh, really learning how to lead is learning how to assure that those conversations can be had without yelling. Mm -hmm. you know, they can be had civilly yeah. and intelligently and constructively.